Weather coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Tanner Knust and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. All clear at this hour on the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. It's going to look a lot different over the coming days with a good amount of rain coming our way starting late on Tuesday. As for this evening, it looks clear with uh, falling temperatures from the 60s we're seeing right now down to the 40s by mid to late evening. Eventually overnight lows will be in the upper 30s to low 40s. 39 tonight in Huntsville and 40 in Decatur, but we're we're back at it with the warmth on your Tuesday. Valentine's Day is going to be warmer than normal this year. 67 in Gunnersville and up to 69 degrees in Athens as we head into Tuesday afternoon. Now we are expecting the wind to pick up tomorrow, especially by mid afternoon. Wind gusts in the 30 to 40 mile per hour range will be possible from mid afternoon all the way through late Tuesday night. Uh, gusts occasionally could get higher than 40 miles per hour. So for that reason, we have a wind advisory in place for most of North Alabama into southern middle Tennessee from 3 p.m. Tuesday through 6 a.m. on Wednesday. We do have some showers that will accompany that uh, wind as well. During the daytime on Tuesday, it looks like it will be dry, just a little bit cloudier tomorrow than what we have seen today. But still, again, it's going to be quite warm out there with highs in the mid to upper 60s. Showers start to move into northwest Alabama on Tuesday evening. They're going to be scattered and fairly light, so it's not going to be a, a deluge of rain or a washout on Tuesday evening, but that's something you'll want to watch out for uh, if you have Valentine's evening plans. As we head toward Tuesday, Tuesday night, lingering scattered showers remain possible. Most of that should clear out by sunrise on Wednesday morning, but that is not the end of our rain threat. That system that's producing those Tuesday night showers is actually, actually going to push northward, so that's going to open the door for more warm, humid air to move out of the Gulf of Mexico into Mississippi and Alabama, setting the stage for additional chances at showers and storms at times Wednesday and especially on Thursday. We are watching for the potential of severe weather, not only in North Alabama, but across much of the deep south, pushing up to the Midwest as well. Now, I do not think this is going to be a severe weather outbreak or a substantial severe weather event, but severe weather does remain possible, especially as we head to the day on Thursday. As for Wednesday, the morning should be dry, but we could see redeveloping showers and a few thunderstorms late in the day Wednesday, continuing into Wednesday night, especially as you move into Wednesday night. Tennessee is going to be the area to watch. Thursday morning, scattered thunderstorms possible near the state line. As we move toward the afternoon, that's probably our best chance at severe storms, and that may linger into Thursday evening as well. Primary concern is going to be heavy rain over the next few days with one to two inches of rain possible on top of the heavy rain we picked up this past weekend that could cause some flash flood concerns. Damaging straight line winds will be the primary severe weather threat and there is still a chance at tornadoes. Again, I do not think it will be a tornado outbreak, but we could see a, a few tornadoes develop in parts of the deep south, including North Alabama as we head toward Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening. We will be here to watch that system as it passes on through. After we get through the next three days of highs in the 60s. We do cool down noticeably on Friday with 40s, but we get sunshine and decent temperatures this weekend. 50s on Saturday, back to the 60s 